Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a series of mixing methods and explaining each one, but today we're only going to be doing the creaming method. And a lot of my students used to have trouble understanding which method was which when they read a recipe. And it's very important to recognize which method you're doing because it can really, really mess up your final bake good if you don't do it properly. So before I get started, I want you to click on that notification button so you can see all my videos and tips, such as this one. So let's get started. The creaming method of mixing. So the first thing you see in this recipe, the first ingredient should usually be softened like a fat of some sort, usually butter, because butter tastes best. It could be shortening, uh, but it's usually in a solid form. Uh, it could even be light butter, but it should be solid. And you want to let it get to room temperature so you soften it. Make sure if you do it in the microwave and soften your fat, you don't melt it, because that will change the consistency, the texture of your final baked good. This type of method, the creaming method, usually is used in cakes, cookies, and that, and muffins sometimes, because it just gives that beautiful, lovely, uh, aerated texture, and there's little tiny, tiny, tiny bits of little bubbles when you open up the muffin or the cake, and you can actually see this uniform structure. It's gorgeous. So, not only does the fat have to be at room temperature, but usually the fat is mixed initially in a mixing, uh, in some sort of a electric mixer with this, the paddle. And it usually involves using something that I call sandpaper. And that is granulated sugar or even brown sugar. And you see this typically in a cookie recipe like chocolate chip cookies, softened butter, you add your sugar, sometimes it's a combo of the white sugar and the uh, brown sugar, and you want to keep it going. You want to cream it. This is known as the creaming method because of the creaming. So what you're doing on medium speed is you're actually pushing the sugar against the butter, against the sides of that electric mixing bowl, and aerating it. You're actually forcing air with the crystals of the sugar into the butter. This lightens it, and you can see the butter going from almost a yellow to almost a white, and it gets light and fluffy. And sometimes the recipe says, mix until light and fluffy. So the lighter and fluffier you mix, the more of an aerated quality you'll get to your cookie or your cake. If you want a cookie that is not super cakey, you don't want to mix till light and fluffy. You just want to mix until combined. And then the next step is usually adding eggs one at a time wait till they're completely blended, and then you add a combination of flour and chemical leaveners like baking powder, baking soda, sometimes one or the other. Now these chemical leaveners are working, believe it or not, with the sugar and the butter. Because you know the holes, the air that we forced into the butter? Those holes are enlarged because of the carbon dioxide formed from the chemical leaveners. So these are all team players. It's almost like a great football game, all to make your baked good be stupendous and create the best structure you can get. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a lot about the creaming method of mixing. Stay tuned for other videos. Till next time.